What was the best relationship advice you have ever got? A partner is the cherry on top of a cake. The cake is your responsibility. Translation. A good partner can make you happier in life but can never make you happy. It is your own responsibility to have a happy and fulfilling life. The inverse is a little different. A bad partner can ruin your happiness. But it is your own responsibility to not let a bad cherry ruin your cake not let a bad partner ruin your happiness. Discuss life goals especially kids and financial habits before you get married. If one person wants six kids and the other wants to be childless that's not going to work. If one person has champagne tastes and spending habits but you as a couple have a boxed wine budget, then that is a problem. More than one marriage has been ended because one spouse is bad with money and refuses to live within their means. Make time. You'll always have a million and one things that need your attention, but if you're going to be with someone, start a family with them, make time for them. My dad, who is still very much in love with my mom, who isn't really feeling it anymore because she's spent the last 35 years married to a workaholic farmer. Well, my mother was a staunch Christian, and did not like the fact that I was gay, of course. But she once told me, never let a man know how much you love him or he will shit all over you. She said dad knew that she loved him but never knew exactly how much, which is kind of sad when you think about it. Try to fix your issues or break up openly. Don't make the same mistakes as me. My first breakup was extremely slow, painful, and cold. It caused my ex to mentally degrade and end up attempting suicide, and haunting my life forever. Communication matters no matter how tired or selfish you are. There is no reason to keep score. You are both on the same team. If one or both of you starts keeping score with things it is time to evaluate the state of the relationship and why this is occurring. On a related note, all problems can be solved, but not all problems are worth solving. I had a coworker who had a very happy marriage. I asked her how she chose her husband. She answered, he was the nicest man I ever met. That was an epiphany for me. I went on to marry the nicest man I ever met. We've been married over 30 years. I won the husband lottery. Even head over heels in love people get on each other's nerves once in a while. It's not necessarily a sign of trouble, or that you're growing apart, or you or she isn't good or the right one. You're together almost all the time. It's a sign that you're human. From my wife's granddad on our wedding day. Along with grandma, the most incredible, kind, humble, beautiful people you could wish to know. Don't marry the person you can see yourself living with marry the person you can see yourself living without. It takes a hell of a partner to beat no partner at all. Vet carefully and with a clear head does this person add to your life? Is being with them an improvement over your regular, solo life? Or are they an effort to be around, to accommodate? To never fall in love with someone stay with someone because of their potential of becoming better. The potential is not guaranteed. This is in the context of my abusive relationship. I'm not referring to regular conflicts that can be resolved. You don't have to be together forever. Relationships fluctuate with time and you should focus on enjoying the present moment with that person, not on forcing the love because of that idea of having to last forever and ever. Two pieces. 1. If you aren't going to remember being upset over this, it's not worth arguing over now and 2. There are peaks and valleys in relationships. Don't give up until it's only valleys. An old Italian co-worker told me. Treat a woman like a queen and she will treat you like a king. My wife gets coffee in bed every morning and I get taken care of in return. 15 years later, find a travel companion to share your holiday with. It sounds simple, but you're probably fine with that person if you don't want to get rid of them at the conclusion of your vacation. Your partner can't read your mind. Talk to them why you are upset or what is bothering you. Don't hold your negative thoughts inside, it will only make the situation more bitter. Never go to jail for a woman. If she makes you so mad or does something to hurt you mentally, emotionally, physically, it's best to walk away and not get back at them. Several older couples have given me variations of the following be friends first. Marry your best friend. Build a relationship on friendship not anything else. When you're upset, talk to them. You cannot be read by them. If you keep all of your bad thoughts inside, they will just make you bitter until they cease working. Be content by yourself. If you want happiness. Don't rely solely on your relationship. There will always be a period when you need to enjoy yourself by yourself. Don't take relationship advice from people who are single, because most of the people that are single are so because they're unable to bend with their partner. If you are trying to catch them, they don't like you. 
One single Reddit comment set off the process via which I began to let go of a long-term crush. Fulfill your duties before you ask for your rights. If everyone just fulfills their duties towards others then everyone will get their rights. Have a goldfish's memory when it comes to arguments. The elephant's memory is the good stuff. Moreover, never keep score. A team, you are. I don't get the advice from the friend who has never felt the touch of a woman yet somehow has the best advice of all time for a relationship. When your partner wants to have a serious talk, ask them if they want you to give advice or just listen there's a huge difference. Don't go into relationships with someone you don't know. Best is to be with a friend, not just someone you want to have sex with. I love the quote I don't want you to save me, but you can hold my hand while I save myself. Support with respect is key. Never start imagining a life together before you even start it. Get to know the person first. Build it up from there. Keep in mind that you are not fighting against your so during conflicts. You and your so are up against the issue. Above all, just be you. Don't waste your time trying to be someone that you believe other people want you to be. Communicate properly with your partner like Moodle understanding respect by focusing a strong foundation of the trust. Just be you. There will be a person who is looking for someone exactly like you. But you two haven't met yet. Never let a man pay for your ass or you'll think he owns it. From my mother, who is reluctant housewife. Never leave something when everything is all bad between you. Leave when it seems okay, but feels wrong. I was told to never date soccer players and somehow they were all the worst people I've ever met. Don't date anyone with a vastly different intelligence level to yourself. It'll never work out. Don't lie. Success isn't guaranteed but this simple rule gets you as close as it is possible. Relationships are like Wi-Fi. Sometimes they go down, but a simple reboot hug can fix it. Be confident enough in yourself to set boundaries. You should want them, but not need them. Kind of just people advice in general but people will treat you how you let them treat you. Would you date yourself? If not, why would you expect somebody else to want to be with you? If you can't laugh at each other's embarrassing moments. Are you even really a couple? The key to a happy relationship? Always let your partner have the last slice of pizza. No one is going to love you the way you love them. Always keep that in mind. Eat always prior to making key decisions or having significant interactions. Don't look for a relationship just for the sake of being in a relationship. She's right, you're wrong. The sooner you get over that, she will too. Appreciate each passing moment. Always remember nothing lasts forever. Spend just a little bit less time than you want with you so partner. Don't go anywhere without two in your pocket, feather light or best. If you take a Coke Zero out of the fridge, put another one back in. Don't accept anything you wouldn't accept being done to a loved one. Don't do it, he's not worth it. I didn't listen. They were right. Red flags are normal flags when seen through rose tinted lenses. It should never be you versus me but rather us versus the problem. Hang on loosely, but don't let go. If you cling too tightly, if the grass is greener on the other side, try watering yours. While in a relationship don't lose yourself as an individual. From my lovely grandma. Stay single for as long as possible. Embrace each other's differences and celebrate individuality. Never take each other for granted show appreciation often. Find a partner who keeps your belly full and balls drained. Look for the ways that you are complimentary to each other. Practice active listening to understand each other better. Don't sweat the small stuff choose your battles wisely. You can be happy, or you can be right. Choose wisely. Remember to laugh together and keep the romance alive. Prioritize trust and build a strong foundation of it. A chair on the air is worth two couches near a patio. If you put your dick in crazy make sure to pull out. They won't always get it right. But they mean well. Be each other's biggest supporter and cheerleader.